Hello, Junior Guides. I am Safari Guide Frank. I hope all of you are as excited as I am about today's Safari. Can you guess what we will be seeing today? Today, we are going to continue with part three of mammals. We are going to be looking at some interesting animals. Today on our safari, we will be looking at mammals. A specific group to be exact. We are going to be looking at some interesting mammals, all of which you can find on your next safari. The group of animals that we are going to look at today is called the Ugly Five. Now, this group consists of the following animals. The warthog, the wildebeest, the marabou stork, the hyena, and vultures. The Ugly Five is a group of animals with strange appearances and looks, and that is why they are called the Ugly Five. The first animal on our list is the hyena. Hyenas live in social groups of up to 20 individuals. These groups are called clans. A female hyena is called the queen, and she is the head of the clan. The females will give birth and hide the young in a den, which is usually found in a termite mound. They will give birth to an average of two to three cubs at a time. Female hyenas are significantly larger than males and can weigh up to about 80 kilograms. They are carnivorous and they hunt for food as well as scavenge. Hyenas are actually one of the most successful hunters in Africa. Hyenas are very well known for the sound they make. It often sounds like they are laughing in the distance. The Blue Wildebeest Blue wildebeests are also called gnus because of the sound that they make. They live in extremely large herds, especially in East Africa, where wildebeest congregate in their thousands for the annual migration. Wildebeest are herbivores and they only eat grass. These types of herbivores are called grazers. According to folklore, the wildebeest was the last of the animals to be created and was put together with parts of the remaining animals, like a hyena, zebra, and buffalo. Next on the list of the ugly five is vultures. Vultures are odd-looking birds. Their necks are very exposed, giving them a strange look. When they congregate together, we call a flock of vultures awake, because they always gather around dead animals. Vultures are carnivorous, and except for a few species, they normally do not hunt. They eat meat that is left over on carcasses they find. Therefore, they are also seen as Africa's cleaning crew. Vultures are some of the largest and heaviest flying birds in Africa. The marabou stork. This is one of the strangest looking birds in the world. Marabou is a word derived from a very old French dialect that means old man. When you look at it, you can see why it's called this name. The marabou, like vultures, is also one of the heaviest flying birds in the world. They have a massive wingspan that extends for over two meters. Marabou storks are carnivorous birds who scavenge for most of their meals on dead carcasses. The last animal on the list of the ugly five is the warthog. Now, most of us know warthogs because of the famous character Pumbaa in the Lion King film. Male warthogs have two big warts on either side of their faces, giving them their name. Females only have one wart on each side of their faces. The female warthog's warts are under the eyes. Warthogs have big tusks that they use to dig up roots and to protect themselves from predators like leopards and lions. They are herbivores and eat mostly grass, roots and tubers but there have been cases where they have been seen to eat insects and sometimes even meat. You sometimes see warthogs kneeled on the ground to forage for food. They live in burrows under the ground, which they dig to protect them and their young from danger.
let's look at some other mammals you might find on safari. We are going to look at giraffe, zebra, impala, baboon, and the vervet monkey. These are some of the common animals to look out for in the African bush. Giraffe. The giraffe is one of the most iconic animals of Africa. They are also the tallest animals on earth and can grow as tall as a two-story building, up to 14 feet. Giraffes are herbivores and eat mostly leaves, reaching where no other animal can, right at the top of certain trees. They have a very strange and long blue tongue of about 30 centimeters, which they use to strip the leaves off branches. The tongue is very hard and tough, which enables them to wrap it around thorny branches and get to the leaves. A mature male giraffe can weigh up to 1,500 kilograms. The female gestation period, or how long she is pregnant for, is 15 months, and they will give birth to a single calf. The next animal on our list is the zebra. These animals are extremely unique and interesting. Their stripes are almost like fingerprints. Each zebra's is different and unique to each individual. A stallion, or the male of the group, is the head of the herd. The herds can range from individuals between 10 to 50 animals. A group of zebras is called a dazzle. The reason for this is because they can confuse predators when they stand close together. Have you ever wondered if a zebra is white with black stripes or black with white stripes? Well, the answer to this question is that a zebra is actually black with white stripes. If you would take a shear and shave the zebra, you will find that close to the skin is a very dark brownish blackish color. Thus, the zebra is black with white stripes. Impala. The impala is the most common antelope seen in Africa and probably one of my favorites. Remember, in Africa we have only antelope and not deer. Deer can be found in Asia and North America. Male impala have big horns and females have none. There is usually only one dominant male that lives within a herd of females. We call a herd of impala a rank of impalas. Impalas are beautiful antelope with a two-tone coat, the dark red-brown on the top and a lighter shade on the bottom of their bodies. Baboons. The South African baboon is called the chakma baboon. They are very intelligent animals and act as an alarm system to other animals in the bush. They are very social animals, often found grooming and cleaning each other just like in the photo at the bottom right. Baboons live in groups we call troops. There is usually more than one dominant male in the troop. Baboons are omnivorous feeders, which means they include a variety of different things in their diet, which includes meat, plants, fruit, and insects. The vervet monkey. Vervet monkeys are one of the cheekiest animal species in Africa. They steal food from humans, but it is very, very important that we never feed them. Monkeys, like baboons, live in large groups of about 20 to 30 individuals, also called troops. Each troop has one dominant male who will defend his troop and territory very aggressively. Monkeys are also a very accurate early alarm system, indicating threats like leopards and lions. Interestingly enough, Monkeys' alarm calls are different for specific animals. If it is a large eagle, like a martial eagle, they will have a specific call. If there's a leopard, they will give another specific call for that.